What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Loot Tower Place. Today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy. Uh, this past weekend has been like a free weekend. I played it for a couple days. We're going to do a couple more days on Psycho Crusher. He's our he's currently an astrolo astrologian or astrologian or I don't I don't know. But we're going to be doing some healing. I'm leveling him up through the uh AAR right now, but we're just doing command missions just like normal normal SOP. Okay, welcome back. Decide later. Yes. All right. And we're going to start with the command mission. I've currently got a uh, Halatoya tanking. We are level 49, so after this one run, we should be in the level 50 range for the level 50 dungeons. How's the audio? Y'all can hear everything okay? Yeah, looks like it. So I'm gonna be probably buffing him with the damage from this card. We'll be pulling pretty much everything in the room, I think. I just recently got the ability to AoE. Uh, kind of heal over time AOE. I just tell these guys to focus what I'm focusing. That way anytime I do any damage to something, I don't get threat. I intended on that being a damage ability. I tried, I got a new move called Gravity here. It's a unexpected damage of potency of 120. It's just like an AoE. Uh, I'll pull a few so we can see what it looks like. Let's keep ourselves and Hasta Loea alive. All right, here goes. This is called gravity. Watch what happens. Oh, that big old gray orb. That's called gravity. We'll heal up Hasta Loea. Uh, some more. He seems like he's looking pretty rough. Yeah, he's getting hit pretty hard. Let's get this little squid here too. The Veil Wasp. Everybody redirect DPS on the Veil Wasp. You done, son. Okay. Gravity. More gravity. Golden lung. A layer of sulfuric sludge is built up on the body. We got two stacks of that now. If we eat some fruit, that gets rid of it. We need to heal. all according to plan I like to get everybody because uh, we're trying to level up here all right that should be that no survivor oh maybe we should eat a fruit we do have a dot on us No upgrades from that.
Alright. I didn't know that stuff could hurt you. Apparently those clouds that, that puff out do damage to you. Alright. Just try not to pull the whole room. Unless we want to. Do we want to pull the whole room? Gotta make sure our tank don't die. Let's limit break. Oh shit, almost got caught there. We're gravy, we're gravy now. I don't know if you guys can even see my bars. Well, you can see their hit points, kinda. I don't I just wanted to get straight to recording so I didn't even think about setting the UI up properly. Here, let's do the UI. Things should be in bounds a little bit more now. All right, we took too long uh, kind of resetting up the UI. So we got kicked out and we're gonna run again. Except this time, we're not playing around. Oh shit, he's dead. Rezzy, hurry. Come on, oh, almost got that off. I instant cast Rezdim and then I went to heal. I should have probably did a different heal, but I AOE healed and it took too long to get off. We go again. We go again. Ah, right, we got some of them down. Man, I can't always click on stuff right away. There's like a, a distance or something like that. It keeps keeps the target from being interactable. It was like a range to click. It's just noticeable to me. I've not experienced gameplay like that.
Oh my word. Starstruck, rank three. We got a divination ability. Oh, we got a few abilities. Our arcana gauge is expanded. Depending on the arcanum, the arcanum, arcanum used, you will be granted a lunar, solar, or celest celestial astro sign. After three astro signs have been read from your deck, they can be consumed to use astrodyne, whose effect are influenced by the different astro signs in play. Our Arcana Gauge allows Astrologians to keep track of which card or Arcanum is currently drawn. An Arcanum is drawn by using an action draw. This is placed in the middle of the gauge using the play command. Executes the Arcanum's corresponding action. Alright, okay. They're locked abilities. Because I'm not high enough level in this dungeon. My, my level's being scaled down to the level level of the dungeon, I guess. Bang Haroach. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. Uh, it's kind of looking rough. Let's kind of free up our tank here. Oh, we need to heal ourselves. Just going to heal everybody. Get this off of me. We got a little spicy, but that's okay. It's always kind of exciting when it goes haywire a little bit. Just dispelling. I, I I don't even think he had anything on him at that last dispel, but I still was just spamming. All right, let's get these two. Is that good? Oh yeah, we got a new weapon. This one's called Vega. Oh, look at it. It's kind of cool. 
Yeah, I'm an astrologer, so I do draw. Well, let me put this in range. Uh, I can't. Okay, well. Draws an Arcanum from your Divining deck. Only one Arcanum can be drawn at a time. The effects triggered can be used. Can be triggered using the action play. The additional effect is it restores 5% of maximum MP. Additional effect uh, grants clarifying a draw, allowing the execution of redraw. Maximum of two charges, excuse me. Redraw draws a different Arcanum, can only be executed while under the effects of Clarifying Draw. Oh, people is dying. People is really dying. Okay. Let's get Epitome out. She's pretty, she's pretty strong. Go okay, here. Actually, let's see if Lightning Speed can allow us to res faster. No, it cannot. It'd still be good to bind Ascend. Here we go. Heal the tank. We'll draw some cards here. This will help us. So I guess we redraw for the MP. Like, we get uh, MP whenever we draw a card. So I always wondered, like, why do you redraw? Because it just literally changes. Like, for example, I have... A card drawn right now called the Spear. Increases damage dealt by party members or self by 6%. And then it says it does other things if it's like a tank or something. Well, I can use that on myself. And then when I draw another card, for example, Balance, the tooltip reads the same. Like it has the same effect. It's, this, it's like I draw a different card, it's named something different, it looks different, but it has the same effect. And then I guess I can redraw, and that restores MP. So each card I draw I can redraw. Now this is the arrow, so this is a totally different card. But it, again, it has the same effect. 6% damage increase if it's like a target, DPS and other rolls. Oh, 3% if it's not a tank. So it's more DPS to myself or the tank, but not as much DPS if it's on a DPS. Weird. But any card does that. It, any card is the same in that sense. Like, they all have the same effect. So I was like, well, why have different cards? And I guess maybe it's just because it's low level it doesn't make sense. Maybe at a higher level, each card has different effects. I'll put this on myself and then I'll buff everybody and we need to eat a fruit because I'm at three three stacks okay now we got some little guys little AOE gravity 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 Drawing cards, playing cards, gravity. Bellissima. We got some boots. Very nice, very nice. Peace out. Don't forget to commendate your healer. Come back next time for Loved by the Sun.